What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Re Boot Camp. Re Boot Camps are usually made when there is request from the higher ups for a boot camp of a hero that has been already made. In this video, we are going to talk about the mage hero, Alice. Alice has a good set of blink area of effect, healing, and crowd control skills. Our Queen of Blood, Alice, is a mage tank hero. I consider Alice as a team fight mage since her skills are more efficient when beside the target. Not only that, her ultimate skill heals her while dealing damage which makes her durable. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Alice based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp. But before that, let me explain our skills one by one for further understanding. Alice's passive, Blood Ancestry, lets her gain extra effects based on the blood orb charges she has. A blood orb is generated whenever a minion dies nearby Alice. She absorbs the orb by going near it and increases her maximum health points permanently, and restores mana. When she reaches 12 charges, she gains cooldown reduction permanently. When she reaches 25 charges, she gains increased shield gained and increased HP restoration permanently. Lastly, when she reaches 50 charges, she gains a boost on her movement speed permanently. When laning, it's best to go near a dying minion before it dies so it will generate a blood orb. Then, just get near the orb so you can absorb it like junk food. <laughs> Alice's first skill, Flowing Blood, lets her shoot a ball of blood stream towards a specified direction. Enemies hit will receive magic damage. You can use this to harass enemy heroes in the lane since its range is far. When the orb stops its travel, it can still damage enemies that will pass through it. It stays there for at least a second based on our mathematical compound analysis. So make sure not to be mesmerized by the orb and go near it like a firefly in childhood stories who died because of foolishness. Using this skill again will immediately teleport her to the bloodstream location. Teleporting beside or behind the enemy will give you the upper hand to gank and kill them. It's also one of the best ways you can enter inside team fights with your ultimate skill activated. Just make sure to stay safe so you won't die in return, okay? You can use this to chase escaping enemies. You can also use this to teleport away and escape possible death. Just make sure to click on it before the timer runs out when escaping. Or else you will see angels anytime soon. Lastly, when teleporting to the orb when it is within an obstacle, you will be teleported to the last registered spot that you are allowable to be. So even if the orb is already here, you will just be teleported to this spot, since it's the last recorded spot that you are allowable to be. Only a Alice's second skill, Blood Awe, lets her immobilize nearby enemies. Upon using, enemies nearby Alice will receive magic damage and will be immobilized. Enemies will also be slowed after being immobilized. The immobilization can stop the enemies from moving away to help you chase them further. Or you can immobilize them to stop from chasing you. Alice's ultimate skill, Blood Ode, lets her sustain in team fights while dealing damage. Activating this skill will let her enter blood draining state. Every few moments, she consumes mana while dealing magic damage to enemies nearby. She also restores health points while dealing damage to the enemies. The health being restored when hitting enemies will help you sustain when you are being ganked up. You might be able to kill some of the enemies in return. You have slain an enemy. Even if you go against multiple enemies, as long as you have the right item build against them, you can be anything. If the target hit is not an enemy hero, she restores less health points. This blood draining state will end when she uses this skill again or when her mana is all used up. So be always aware of your mana because losing all your mana can cause you your life. There are so many items that you can buy for Alice. 
You can focus on items that grants magic power, magic lifesteal, and items that makes you durable. You can use the Kurumi Way build if you want to deal burst damage while sustaining your survival. We chose the following items to bring out Alice's burst potential while being sustainable. Demon Shoe gives you mana regeneration and you also restore mana every time you kill a minion or engage in enemy hero killings. Clock of Destiny raises your total health points and your maximum mana pool so you can spam your ultimate skill. Ice Queen Wand will let you slow down enemies every time they're hit with your skill. It also grants you additional magic lifesteal and additional movement speed so you can travel faster. Concentrated Energy grants you magic lifesteal which regenerates health every time your skill deals damage. Blood Wings will grant you lots of magic power and lots of health points depending on your magic power. Lastly, Oracle increases your health regeneration effects and amount of shield gained. You can use the burst build if the enemy's lineup has lots of squishy heroes like marksmen and mages. This build focuses on your extreme burst capability. Lightning Truncheon will deal extra magic damage up to 3 enemies depending on your max mana when you use a skill. Holy Crystal will grant you a large amount of magic power which will improve your skill damage. Lastly, you can use the Durable build if you prefer to be more durable than ever. Necklace of Durance will decrease the regeneration effects of the enemies hit by your skills. Winter Truncheon has an active skill that freezes you for a few moments which will make you immune to all damage and debuffs but you are not able to move while on this state. This can save you from incoming burst damages depending on your timing. The item build for Alice really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's descriptions so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Alice is Petrify. You can use Petrify to deal magic damage to enemies around you and petrifies them for a few moments. This can really help you attack enemies peacefully when they are petrified. You might also want to consider Revitalize. This spell summons a healing spring that restores your health and your allies every few moments depending on a percentage of your maximum health. It also enhances the shield and HP region effect you receive. This healing spring lasts for a few seconds. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Mage Emblem set. Custom Mage Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Burst Mage. Set agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Higher movement speed means higher chance to chase enemies or escape death. Setting observation to max level will provide additional magic penetration on your skills. Higher magic penetration will let you deal more magic damage with your skills. Get Impure Rage to deal extra damage depending on the enemy's current HP. Impure Rage also restores your mana. For me, it's the best thing to get since Impure Rage has a short cooldown which can help you poke enemies. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the damage output higher. Prioritize second skill less since your first skill is what you need for better damage dealing. Always upgrade ultimate skill when available for upgrading. In terms of her combo, we use a simple combo for Alice. First, we use her first skill to hit enemies and place the orb near the target. Then, while the orb is in travel, we activate our ultimate skill. Then, we use our first skill again when the orb is already beside the target. Then, we use our second skill to immobilize the enemies. You can also use your spell anywhere in between this combo when necessary. But if you are using Revitalize, it's best to use it when you are inside team fights for more healing for yourself. Then, while waiting for the cooldown of your first and second skill, deal some basic attacks while making sure enemies are being hit by your ultimate skill. Then, use your first skill to deal more magic damage and just in case the enemy tries to run away from you. Additional tip, never underestimate Alice even when she is almost dying. With her regeneration from her ultimate skill and some disabling skills along with her spells, she can definitely do some micro moves which will embarrass you and let you kiss the grass. Repeat that part because you might have misheard something nasty. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Alice. This video just guides you on how to use Alice the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Alice. Thanks for watching, do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers!